self-discipline. This is something that we have all heard of. Something that we all want. Something that we all desire to have. As little as I wish to be 10% more disciplined. That's enough to make a change. Yet, no matter what we struggle, we struggle so much to become more disciplined. And I think I know why. It is all mental. It is all down to your mental strength. So I ask you this question, how mentally tough are you? <laughs> hey, first things first, how are you? I hope things have been good and I hope you've been all right. Discipline. This is something we've all heard of, you know, the discipline versus motivation conversation. Damn, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a poet and I don't even know it. <laughs> But there is one thing that really enlightened my view of discipline. And it's actually from a quote from Mike Tyson. Discipline is doing something that you hate to do, but doing it as if you love it. That's what it takes to be the best. For example, if you're eating way too many junk food, you know, you're eating way too much junk food snacks as you're binge watching Netflix. You do it too much, too much, too much, and then you say, you know what, I've been eating too much junk food. I'm not gonna do it anymore. That's not discipline. And guess what, every time you do that, it tends to not work. You tend to not be able to stick with what you just said. You tend to give up and fall back into the bad habits. When you are trying to take something out of your life or you're trying to put something into your life, that's only goal is to improve you, that's discipline. Discipline, is saying, I'm not gonna eat junk food. I'm not gonna eat junk food whilst I binge watch all those series on Netflix for six months. I'm not throwing it out of my life. I am just taking six months off. I'm not going to eat junk food. That's discipline. And guess which one will more actually likely work? Which one are you more likely going to stick to? That scenario or the scenario that I mentioned before where you're eating too much and then you say, oh, I'm not gonna eat anymore. Now, discipline. Look, the reason why it's so important, you know, the typical discipline versus motivation topic, is because motivation is not a skill. It is something that cannot be leveled up. You can't specifically train to be more motivated. There are things you can do to be more motivated. You know, sleeping better, eating healthier, all those kind of typical things. There are things you can do to be more motivated. However, it's not a skill that you can actively, constantly do to improve. Whereas discipline is. Discipline is a skill. It's not random. We can willingly invoke it right now if we wanted to. Whereas motivation, we can't. <laughs> now, how? Wait, cut that. So that's what discipline is. Discipline is putting something into your life or taking something out that improves you using that mental strength that you have because when it comes down to it if you think about it really think about it like just sit here you know have a moment to yourself and just think about what is it to be more disciplined what genuinely is stopping me think about what is stopping you from being more disciplined it's probably your mind your mental the mindset i want to go to the gym today but i've just finished work and i'm so tired i really don't want to you know, I'm not going to. I'm unwell. I'm sick. I really don't. I can't go to the gym. You know, I'm just not feeling it. Uh, I know I should go out and buy healthier foods, but uh, I sh I've got that pizza waiting at home. Ah, uh, so, you know, uh, can't waste it. If you think about what's really stopping you from being more disciplined, it's all the mental. It's all the mindset. The only thing that's stopping you from stopping eating that pizza is just saying no to going to the gym consistently is just saying yes. It is genuinely all mental. So how can you improve your mental toughness? Going back to that question I asked you at the very beginning of the video. Are you mentally tough? Is your mental strength? Is it strong? Can you mentally discipline yourself? And the chances is no. If you clicked on this video and you're still this far, you can't, but that means you want to. And there is something that I have done that has helped me become more disciplined more mentally tough, and that is something known as high rep endurance. Now, I used to spend a whole day, now I just do it every day, 
not as much as I used to, but I would spend a whole day doing high rep endurance exercises. Now, what this means, for example, it's push-ups, sit-ups, plank. Those are high rep endurance exercises. Wait, but what's the difference between that and, you know, going to the gym and using free weights? If you were told to bench 225 pounds right now, you probably wouldn't be able to do it. You'd try to lift the, the bar, you'd try to bench it, but it wouldn't even move, it wouldn't even bulge. Whereas if you were told to do 100 push-ups today, even though you could only do 10, you could do it. By the end of the day, you could do 100 push-ups. Your body would get tired and you would need to take breaks, but you could do it. All that you need is the mental strength to tell you to keep doing it. So you can probably see how high rep endurance exercises make you mentally tougher. You see, if someone told you to do a five minute plank right now, even though the most you've ever done is 30 seconds, you could do it. You would need to take breaks during the middle, but you could do it. You could do a five minute plank. Not in all one go, but you could definitely do it. The only thing that is stopping you is the mental. Your mind. That's the only thing that's telling that you that's the only thing that's telling you that you can't do it. So if you did, and you got over that, over that mental hurdle, imagine how stronger, how tough your mindset would become. Telling yourself, no, I can go further, I can do more. And that's why high rep endurance exercises are so good. I do 25 push-ups first thing in the morning. Sometimes I don't want to, but I do it anyway. By the end of the day, you know, I'll, I would have done 100 push-ups. You know, I'm at the gym and I'm at the gym with my gym buddy and he's asked me, how many push-ups have you done? I've done 100 already. Do 150 more before we leave the gym. We would stay there for another two fucking hours, but I would do it. And so would he. You see, it's all mental. It's all up here. If you, get it, if you can get over that, there are so many possibilities for you. And discipline will feel like a tiny obstacle. I guarantee you, if you do this, you will improve your discipline by 10% easily. Easily. So what's stopping you? Hopefully this helped you out. And I uh, hope things have been good. And I would be really appreciative if you clicked on the video that's going to pop up in the corner here. Because this video could help you out. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and don't give up. Hey, you know what time it is. Seven proof gifts.